Chemistry has always been in my blood. My father's an industrial chemist, and when I was growing up, we always used to talk about chemistry over the dinner table. For my PhD, I was really interested in doing something that could be applied. So what I decided to do was work with um, ophthalmic lenses that go dark when you go outside. After my PhD, I decided to come work at the University of Melbourne under the Professor Frank Caruso. We're interested in designing nanocarriers, which play two roles. First of all, they protect the drug from the human body, and they also allow us to deliver the drug straight to the cells that we're interested in targeting. There's a couple of problems with conventional drugs. One is that they degrade within the body, sometimes quite quickly. And the second one can be seen in things like chemotherapy, where we have lots of side effects from that drug. Our particles need to be designed to be very small because they need to get past the defences of the human body. The capsules are designed so that they have a multi-layered structure, somewhat like a Russian doll, where it has individual layers which are designed to meet specific requirements along the path to getting our drug within the cell and delivering the active component. This fellowship is going to help me to take the next step in my career and start my own research group. I have a one-year-old daughter, so this fellowship will also allow me to keep up my international conferences and speaking to a scientific audience, but take her along so I can also be a good mum. I hope in the next 10 to 20 years we'll see a whole suite of carriers which can take drug delivery to the next level and get us around some of the nasty side effects and customise for individuals.